Welcome to Can I Show You Two Videos in My Class by Seneca Libraries. This video references Bill C-11, the Copyright Modernization Act, which has received royal assent but is not yet in force. This video was designed solely for informational purposes for Seneca College faculty and staff. All other users are encouraged to check and confirm the information with their institution. This video is prepared by library staff and is not reviewed by legal counsel. Hi there, I'm Jennifer Peters, librarian at Seneca College. One of the questions I'm asked all the time is, can I use YouTube videos in my class? Well, I'm happy to report that new legislation allows you to show YouTube videos in your class. You mean I can show any YouTube video in my class? Well, there are certain conditions, but it's still really, really good news. So what exactly does this mean? The new legislation allows educational use of publicly accessible materials available through the internet. This includes permission to perform it in public for students of an educational institution. So this means you can show videos from the internet in your classroom. There are some conditions. The most important one relating to YouTube is that you cannot show videos where you know or should have known that the work was made available through the internet without the consent of the copyright owner. So to help you abide by this condition, here are some guidelines for when you're selecting videos to show from YouTube. Try to choose videos that appear to have been uploaded by the copyright owner. It's a good idea to stick to official channels, for example, Mr. Beans, the Associated Press, or an official one from a company or an organization. If it's not an official channel, try to determine who uploaded the video. Such as this College Survival Guide video. It was uploaded by Ms. PTV9090, and when you click on the username, you see she has produced a series of her own videos. So this would be safe to use because she's the copyright owner. This is an example of a video probably uploaded without the consent of the copyright owner. The video is from CNN, but the person who uploaded is called Addicted to News. Even though he apologizes in advance for copyright violations, I would still steer clear of this video. You could also choose videos that have a Creative Commons license, where the copyright owner is actually giving you permission to show their video. Just try to make sure it was the actual copyright owner who uploaded the video under a Creative Commons license. So hopefully this makes sense. You can show a video from YouTube as long as it was uploaded by the copyright owner. If you need help deciding whether a video is safe to show in your class, you can always contact us at copyright at senecacollege.ca or you can visit our copyright guide at seneca.libguides.com slash copyright or our copyright FAQ at tinyurl.com slash FAQ copyright. Thanks for watching!